This animation aims to provide you with more information about gastroschisis. Sometimes the front of a baby's belly does not form properly during early pregnancy. This can mean the baby has an opening on the right side of their belly button. The baby's intestines pass through this opening. This is called gastroschisis and is classed as a rare birth defect. The cause of gastroschisis is unknown. Gastroschisis may mean that the intestines are not able to work properly. It is not usually associated with other malformations. A diagnosis of gastroschisis can be made before birth using ultrasound, which is a way of obtaining images of your baby in the womb. Many babies with gastroschisis are born prematurely, which means they are born before 37 weeks. Your baby's ongoing care should be provided at a specialist center by a dedicated team of professionals who have knowledge and experience of looking after babies with gastroschisis. Gastroschisis is a serious condition and can be life-threatening for your baby before and after birth as a newborn. However, most babies do survive. After birth, your baby will receive immediate care and assessment. Some babies may be transferred to a dedicated intensive care unit if they are born prematurely. Your baby's intestines are wrapped in a sterile bag to avoid damage, and they will receive the fluid they need via a tube that delivers it through a vein. When your baby is stable, surgery is performed to place the intestines back where they should be in the belly and close the opening. Depending on your baby's circumstances and the severity of the gastroschisis, this can be done in one operation, called a primary repair, or in several steps, which is called a staged repair. Further surgery may be needed if other malformations are also present. Whilst the intestines recover, your baby will receive its feed through a tube that delivers it through a vein. This method of feeding is called parenteral nutrition. The amount of time your baby will spend in hospital will differ, depending on the severity of the gastroschisis, any complications, and how well they respond to treatment. This often ranges between 2 to 10 weeks, but it may be longer if needed. Follow-up care by a team of different clinical specialists is required to monitor your baby's growth and development. This team is often called a multidisciplinary team, or MDT. Some babies may experience ongoing difficulties that require different types and levels of care. Identifying any complications or difficulties early is very important. Some babies may require parenteral nutrition for a longer period to promote continued growth. Peer support can be accessed through patient and family support groups.